you know you find yourself find yourself find your purpose find your vision and just sit still it's beauty in sitting still we always in a rush oh i'm plan for god you can't plan for this i'm telling you i've been seven years whatever plan you got over there is <laughs> yeah. gonna readjust when yeah. you land and then you don't know where you want to live try out different regions yeah. each region is different yeah. and it may fit you you may come from a small town you want to live in a crop you may come from a big city and want to live in a in the countryside so find yourself learn yourself move to ghana but trust in yourself believe in yourself build your base and stop after this video and just think for a minute don't go to another video just stop after the video and think about where you at in your life echo, echo, echo city. Do you think a stable Pan-African village? These are two questions. I mean, for conversation. Do you think a stable Pan-African village is meeting whatever we were expecting? And secondly, I feel the brothers and sisters who are currently here, like yourself, we still not together to work together. I still feel there is that space. Mm -hmm. How do we? How do we go about this? Especially, we are already here. So, especially those who are coming, what do we do together in order to to live together, in order to build ideas together, so to move Africa, Ghana, a city together? So, in terms of the second question, are you when you said people are still not together, were you talking about the Black Americans amongst themselves or Black Americans in the land? The Black Americans among themselves. Amongst, okay, let me go back to the first question in terms of the Pan African village and where yes. it's at. Uh, first, let me say, even coming and, and being part of the beginning of this project, and that part, mm -hmm. this project never been done before. Yeah. Nowhere in Africa. Yeah. It's 54 countries, yeah. and nobody never tried this before. Right. Right? In terms of this head start in it, right? And so we have nobody, I can't call nobody in Tanzania, be like, yo, how y'all going there? over there? Yeah. Or Senegal or, or South mm -hmm. Africa, because it's never been done. So, Again, the people that I think had the ideas early wasn't in city planners and engineers. Yep. They just had a great idea and they had, they, again, they go back to what you can contribute. Yep. The chief said, hey, I got land. Yep. That's all I got. I don't know nothing about all that other right, stuff, right. but I can do what I can play my part. And mm -hmm. that's how it made me want to build here when it was still nobody there building nobody, it. Yeah. Because I'm like, I can play my part. I'm the crazy one, mm -hmm. the innovator. Mm -hmm. And I had a young the energy. At mm -hmm. that time, I was 38, 37, 38. Yeah. When I started building, I was yeah, 37, 36. But and compared to my elders, you know, it's like, I'm the one yeah, with you're the youngest. That's my, yeah. so that's what I can present. Mm -hmm. I can't be them. Mm -hmm. I can't be some of what they're doing and yeah. all that, but I can present what I can. Right. So I think in terms of early on, it's just a matter of people who didn't really understand the totality of it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you got this coming and none of us moved here together. And so you're dealing with a whole, so people would assume like, if you go somewhere, if you go to Minnesota right now, or you go to Chicago, mm -hmm. you're gonna link up with the Ghanaians as they are. Right. Y'all right. already got a flag, mm -hmm. you got a language, mm -hmm. you understand stuff. You say, hey man, I'm from Caicos, hey man, I'm from Kamasi. Y'all already, y'all can go out, have yeah, dinner, yeah. have some food, food, and y'all yeah. already in it. Here, we come from different cities, even that's divided. We coming from a divided state. We not coming over here like we all. I didn't know nobody. Anybody that bought land in Pan African Village outside of my cousins, I never met them ever in my life until I started building. Started building. Not oh. even just in Ghana. All these people, I even out here. First off, I'm the only person that's under 50 years old that live in the city. <laughs> They live in Pan African Village. Okay. I'm the only person not retired. Mm -hmm. So I'm the only person mm -hmm. that don't have gray hair yet. Yeah. <laughs> and so then, let alone all these people came when they bought in. They never been to nowhere else. Okay. A lot of them, they just moved closer to the central region and started mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. I lived in different regions. I was a part of Triple AG. I okay. was on a board of Triple AG. Okay. I was on a board of Craig. Okay. So I'm, I'm involved in politics. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. intertwining yeah. with things. I knew people when I've been here four years before yeah. I even started yeah. building and bought my land. And so I didn't come with them. So the divide is already, we're learning on the go. Mm -hmm. So y'all look at us, you people, but we don't even know each other. Yeah. I met Navigate when he got here. I met Lynn when he got mm -hmm. here and Moy. Mm -hmm. And so I still don't know them. I'm we're learning each other. Yeah, right? still and so other. while you're building, and so even though they're retired, I have to sustain myself, mm -hmm. be an entrepreneur, yeah. be a builder, yeah. be a creator, yeah. be an artist. Yeah. So I gotta wear 10 hats at the same time as meet my people. Mm -hmm. And for me, I still hunt for my food. And so in that perspective, we're learning each other. And it's gonna take time. I tell people like a book, when you read a book about black history, mm -hmm. It covers 200 years and you read the book, it's 10 chapters or 20 yeah, chapters, yeah, right? Yeah. So you read the book like, damn, I read that book. Now you got the you got knowledge of this. Yeah. But what about real life? Sometimes our whole life may be only chapter one and two. I may be only chapter one of this yeah. Pan-African right. village. I'm only chapter one. 
I'm not chapter one and to the finish. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people ask, well, let's get to the end zone because it's like American football. But like my job may be just get the first down. Okay. My job may be just complete chapter one. Yes. And, then, and then somebody else. It's going to be, man, it's always somebody going to be another Steve Cole. He's going to come. He's going to be cooler. He's going to come at 25. I came at 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somebody going to come at 25. He's going to build 20 black think tanks. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I should be happy him. I shouldn't be jealous of jealous him. Of I shouldn't block him. I shouldn't hold the connects. Yeah. I should come in, embrace him, yeah. but he's going to be dope. Yeah. That's who's going to take it further. But uh, it's my job to move the ball forward. Mm -hmm. We get overwhelmed sometimes wanting to be the beginner and the end. And, the end, yeah. and we're talking about Pan-Africanism and moving black people forward. We're, we're going we're gonna to hope our kids, kids, kids do that, right? Not us. It's, we just yeah, got to yeah. make sure we have progress and we don't move it backwards. Mm -hmm. That's our only job. Yeah. Make sure the ball don't go back. It has make, to stay there or go forward. It has to go forward. I don't even want it to stay there. It has to go forward. It has to go forward because we already lose. We can't afford to stay still. I think we just have to move the ball forward. And so that's our chapter. Okay. And, and, and that's sometimes you got to put your ego in your pocket because it's like you want to be the one. You want to start the goalie coach. Yeah, the goalie only person. You want to take it all the way downfield <laughs> and, and kick it in. And kick it in. Run around, take yeah. the show off, and slide. It's like, and you be the same person being a supporter. Supporting you yourself. Sometimes you want to go you just stop them from scoring. Yeah. And you threw it out. Yeah. And then Ronaldo scored. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like. Yeah. Somebody, it's, it's, it's the passing of the torch as well. And so that's part one of it in terms of us, we're working on that getting together. Right. In terms of Pan-African Village, yes. Um, I think it's going the way it should. Mm -hmm. When I first bought in, it was only 20 some people bought in. Yeah. Right? And so for it now, you're talking about 800,000 no, 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 people. people yeah. Now other people got like side projects on even on the yeah. side of it. Yeah. They got 100, 200 people each, make it out 100 people. So yeah. you're talking about basically 1,300 people in one space. Yeah. Never been done before. 1,300 people in buying one space. Same area. Yeah. Ghanaians from UK, Australia, mm -hmm. different people buying in one space, never been done. So you're working with something that's unique. It's yeah. going to take time. It's going to take time. It's going to yeah. boil. You got to put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to bake for a while. Yeah. It, it's a 50 year project. We can't get concerned in year three or four. I'm mm -hmm. happy for it because people actually took the initiative and moved out here. Yeah. It takes some guts. What is the same before the project actually? People used to ride right past it and go straight to Cape Coast, yeah, straight yeah, to Elmina, yeah. go to Accra, go yeah. to Kamasi, go they to Tanya. Never, they never came They never here. stopped it. So you're talking about even a space where you're, you're trying to make it unique, mm -hmm. right? And that's no diss to the locals in terms of religion, but it was a lot of virgin land. Yeah, well, it, was, it was a virgin land. There was nothing land. here. And so now you're talking about creating a city from scratch. Man, that takes time. And nobody that came over here ever did that. I grew up in Chicago. The, the street lights was already built. I'm putting street lights up now. Yeah. I'm putting up solar light. So right. for me, I never did this. I never built from ground from up. Ground, yeah. So this is a unique situation for Americans. You buy it as is. The, the streets are already paved. The sidewalks are already made. You the water it, system there. The never, water never cut off and the lights never cut off. We already in it. You're mm -hmm. born, but also you don't own it. You don't own it, yeah. You don't, you're not part of creating it, so you miss out on the wealth. Mm -hmm. We got a chance to create a city from scratch and be a part of the wealth. That's why I find beauty in the process. Okay. I don't look at it and get disappointed like, dang, man, we got to do all this. I'd be like, yes, man, we got to do, do all that. <laughs> like, I, you get a chance, you get to be the Rockefellers, the JP Morgans, mm -hmm. the Carnegies that we complain about in America yeah. who control everything. We got a chance not to control everything, but to be the creators, and the be innovators, the of it. and be the ownership of it from the ground up. Everything I do in Ghana, I own it 100%. Whoa. I owe nobody, I'm debt free. So I have no investors, I don't owe nobody. So for that instance, it's like, it's a freedom in that. Mm -hmm. I can say mm -hmm. what I want mm -hmm. yeah. and not worry about getting fired. Yeah. Or somebody like Nick Cannon, who got who net worth is fifty million dollars and still got to apologize for something he said because he still got bills. Yeah, he still old. He still got debt. No, I, shout out to. But I'm not. Hey, man, you got to sugarcoat this. But like, you got rich people that still got to apologize yeah, for what they, say. what they say. I always want to come from a state that if I own everything, I get to say what I want. What, now, yeah, it's still gonna come with consequences, but you can't take away my livelihood. Yeah, you understand? I understand. Just with my expression, I should be able to speak freely and say what I mean and mean what I say. Now it's up to the people to decide how you take it. But you can't say, Steve, you fired. Steve, mm, you canceled. Yeah. Fuck you. I got solar panels on the ball. I got a ball. I don't got nobody. Yeah, you don't depend on nobody. Fuck y'all, man. Fuck y'all, man. That's okay. I cannot make no money for two months. I can eat, I can eat what? Coastal Aqua bread. Yeah, yeah, with egg, with everything. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, man? I mean, we're having a good time here. I love the story. I love, you know, the reality coming out right now. Yep, 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 yep. We're still here. Uh, he talked about borehole. That's the borehole with the pump in it. So that means you don't have to depend on Ghana Water Company. That's the own they drill, borehole. They drill in the earth. And actually with this, man, I have mine connected to the solar. 
Okay. So even when the lights out, I can okay, still, still pump the borehole and okay. pump into the polytech in the water system if the people don't know, like you was explaining. Yeah. That's the borehole. So it keeps me off the grid while I don't have to depend on the water. But mm -hmm. also, man, when you're creating, you're an innovator, you're an entrepreneur, the best thing you can do is not have bills. Yeah. See, sometimes you may have to do something on the side mm -hmm. for bills. In America, a lot of people, a lot of artists, musicians, People that want to innovate, they got jobs because they still got to pay rent. They still yeah. got bills. They may have kids. But you want to get to a place where you don't have bills so your creativity can spark. And that's what, you know, kind of like me wanting to live off the grid. Now, and that's what Ghana do, man. When you build in Ghana and you create in Ghana, you build in Ghana, it's a beautiful freedom yeah. to not have rent, to not have mortgage, but to own something and then not worry every month on how you're going to come up with the bills. <laughs> so this space down here, man, call it the United States of Africa. I just I just put the green carpet down a couple months ago, but we let creating a gym down here. Mm -hmm. So just like you've seen the mental inside the think tank with the computers and the creativity of paperwork and dealing with stuff like that, it's the physical side too. I'm out here in the bush. I don't want to go in and out to a gym somewhere, but I can work out here. Other people could come and utilize the stuff as well. And so to, to, to balance out the mental, you want to have the physical and, and try to be in shape and just let, let, off, let off some stress and different things like that. I want to say something. You are rich. That's how I would say. Because if you're watching this video and then you see the space that he has, and then the way he's managed to use the space, I would say he's rich. Yeah, so if you're thinking of moving to Asebo, don't think you need millions of dollars to, to come here and then live here. Like he's saying, it's all here. Whatever you plan to do, it's easily done. Now, I see United States of Africa here. Everything is here. And then... Um, what, what do you, so we what have do you, a couple more machines and we're going to add a couple, we're going to add a bench press and a shoulder mm -hmm. press for people on the camera. But like, we're going to add two more machines. But again, just the yoga mat, the bench, the weights, the pull up bar, the punch it back. I got the boxing gloves in there. But just different things, man, where people could just utilize yeah. the space. And he said it's for free. Everything is for free, man. People come in and can use the space. Ghanaians, Nigerians, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Black Americans, wherever you're from. But everything. like, even these flags showing one. Kwame Kuma Jr. of yeah. one, one United States of Africa being on the same page. Yeah. All right, let's go to the top. So up here, I wanted to create a vibe too, where people, a lot of times in Ghana, well not a lot of times, sometimes the lights go out in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. And so sometimes people work remote. And again, the innovators, the thinkers need to be online. Um, and so I wanted to create this space too, where everything is on solar. So when lights out, people sometimes come, plug up their laptops, and come everything is on and solar. just yeah this is on solar so this is on solar they can come and just chill and relax mm -hmm. you know it's a lot of stress too america when we leave america as the diaspora community or, or people leaving the uk yeah. or germany or france or wherever white people was at australia you're leaving with stress and baggage sometimes you need spaces where you could just declutter the mind mm -hmm. too sometimes people may come up here and just smoke a blunt yeah. you know or or chill out mm -hmm. you know the, the weed is free too but yeah. everything is like <laughs> just a vibe out and chill and so to create spaces that help declutter the mind is like this type of space. This is one of my favorite spaces. That rocking chair is my favorite chair. Some of my best ideas come from sitting in that chair, man. But being able to declutter the mind, to not be in a rush, to show people time and patience and take your time. Declutter that materialism, declutter that consumerism. I gotta buy, 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 I need this, I need that. Declutter all that and just be dope. And whoever's for you, for you, and whoever not, not. If she don't like you, cause you ain't got it, that ain't her. Find a girl like you. I, I'm, yeah. hey, go back into the interview, oh. that's, part of it, that's part of it. So now, um, talking about this place, it is open. Anybody, we just have to call, let him know that, okay. Hey, if, um, Steve, I want to come with my friends. want to come hang out. Maybe think about some few things, you know, have some discussions. This is what this place is for. And the people don't have to call. It's like, because I don't ask the phone much. I okay. change my number like every three months. But like... <laughs> um, they can sort of come knock on the gate, okay. you know, and it's like, it's supposed to be that love, right? Mm, yeah. Um, I got closed on the gate because it's supposed to be a six month okay. closing period to redo some things. Okay. But like people still knock and they come in. Like mm. it just, they still, they yeah. know. Like the yeah. people that know, knows, right? Yeah. But sometimes I get like the tour groups, the buses and mm -hmm, stuff come mm -hmm. and they want to learn more about Pan-African Village and stuff like yeah. that. So I tried to make that space. Okay. Even when it first opened, it was more of that than anything else. Because being out here, it's a lot of elders. It's yeah. all elders. Yeah, yeah, all right elders. Living. Yeah. It's 14 families living in the Cebu now. 14 um, families. Well, 14 households. House, okay, some okay. people got, you know, but um, <laughs> I'm the only person not retired yet. So they're more elderly. They retire. They mm -hmm. work 20, 30 years somewhere. They're yeah. not trying to do anything. They nah. want to just chill. And so this project is, they can come and chill, but like this project is for the people. I'm trying to help people sustain right. themselves. Right. The man's whoever. So it's like, 
I need the I need the energy. Mm -hmm. So this is about that generation being dope. Right. But, so but welcome to everybody though. Come. Yeah, welcome to Black Tank Tank. Uh, it's me, of course, Simpson, featuring. Yeah, we're gonna make a song together. But mm -hmm. why? Now this is private. Like I oh. see you chilling a lot in Cape Coast. Yeah, definitely. he's always talking to some of my girlfriends, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm single with no kids. Uh, you're single. I love women. I love black women. You I love don't black, date black women. women. I don't date white women. <laughs> I love black women. Um, but you need you need you need to find yourself a Ghanaian woman and get married. But, but also, I, you know, even it was crazy because I, I date black American women at times. I mm. dated Ghanaians, and when I was building, yeah. one of the things was I didn't want to date during the building process. So to keep that out, because I, I told myself, and this is this is recorded, right? I want <laughs> yeah. this to be true. Yeah, I would never trade a date in for cement bags. No girl was worth more than cement bags to me when you're in your purpose. Okay. See, a girl can always wake up and say, ah, echo, I don't like I'm you done. no more. Yeah, I want to move on to you. Now, you just invested all that into her. Mm -hmm. What did you invest in yourself? Yeah. And so for me, I want to invest in the cement, the sand, the mm -hmm. stones, the First. blocks. The blocks won't leave me. No. Cement won't get up and say, Steve, I don't like you no I more. I don't like I'm you no more. Yeah. Now, a thief may come and take two bags and run yeah. off, but the cement won't leave me. Yeah. So I have to stay loyal to the purpose. And then everything else, when you're finding yourself, how can you make, to me, this is my philosophy. I don't mm. want to be the the, the, the the spokesperson for this year. But for yeah. my philosophy was, until I find myself, how can I have that mate who will love me for me mm -hmm. if I'm not even me? So if I'm doing something I don't love to do and a girl likes you for that, mm -hmm. then when you find yourself, you're going to be a different guy. Yeah. You still like that person. Yeah. And then you change. Like Even your own friends may say, oh, man, you changed. Mm -hmm. But you're growing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you want to find people in your growth. And so now I'm open to it. But like, yeah, man, I'll be kicking it too, man. I'm single. I ain't cheating on nobody, yo. But I'm having fun, man. God is fun, man. God is fun. Um, man. The women is beautiful, but I, you know, part of it is always telling them the truth as well. Yeah. I want to have a moral code with them. They get upset, but at least you're not selling them a dream, right? I'm talking mm -hmm. to him. I'm talking to him. But I want to talk to Karen. But like, you don't want to sell them a dream um, in terms of lying. Like, hey, one day I'm gonna marry you. I promise you, and then run off. No, I don't do that. I'm not known for that. None of that. But like. To be honest and be just having fun and enjoying, but well, I yeah, my focus is on these projects. I'm almost done with my three bedroom house. Mm -hmm. I want to have something also like if I get married, hey, this is where we're gonna yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so hard for me, bro, because you gotta realize if only ten percent of the people my age succeed like this, mm -hmm. my focus has to be that. The girls are gonna always be that, yeah. right? But this is a, the failure rate for a black American to move here under 55 years old. I'm 41. Under 55 years old, for a black American to live here, I've been here seven years. It's almost uncomfortable. Yeah. I am him. Yeah. Right? It ain't, yeah. You can name on one hand. And then with one guy in the voter, one guy in the Easter. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like yeah, random. Yeah, you yeah, got to go one. here and maybe another girl. I think she's working on her second or third year. And another guy maybe in terms of that age, right? Yeah, yeah. But besides people you see that's right, they two years in a, a new one. Or they already left. Yeah. You just ain't know they left. You just think you ain't seen them. But they're gone. And they never coming back. And so my focus, man, it has to be concentrated so much. Like, the young you got to watch the distractions. That's why I don't do like a lot of outside business. Yeah. A lot of things I see, like, oh, that'd be a good idea. Sometimes you just got to concentrate yeah. on two or three things and yeah. just be as good as you can on these two or three. So but I have other partnerships, too. So when you see this project, what happened was, too, with this NGO work, you know NGO yeah, work, yeah, yeah, elaborate. Yeah. What happened was people said, why would you build an NGO first? I have my online business. I have Moringa Matrix. The link will be under his thing. He's going to put it on there. The, the MoringaMatrix.com. I sell different powders from here. I'm going to show you later on. But like um, building an NGO, why would you build this NGO? And my thing was it would attract what's supposed to be for me. Yeah. If I'm living my truth, that's that's the partnerships that mm -hmm. it's going to attract. So I've been able to attract partnerships okay. and make money from that. Okay. But also fun things mm -hmm. right, that I want to do. Okay. And so... Um, collaborations and helping people build here and different things like that mm -hmm. based on having this base. Okay. So never be scared on how you're going to make money doing it. Just make sure you're doing what you love to do. Yes. And then it's like a crossword. Like do what you love to do and then a crossword is find out how yeah. to make money doing it. Yeah. But that's that X. That's mm -hmm. that middle point. That middle but point, yeah. do this part first. You go straight for the money. You're doing some cornball stuff. You end up quitting on it because you mm -hmm. really don't like it anyway. Mm -hmm. You're not putting your passion into it. So this is my project. I didn't know how. Oh man, Steve, how you gonna make a living? I didn't really know how. Yeah. But these partnership came, and now people pay me to be me. People pay me money to to just be, to be me. Be, I don't yeah. have to. I don't work for them. Yeah. I don't. It's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. And then it's like I may do some things on the ground, like yeah. in terms of. Yeah. And even that has a percentage, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's not just that, but you. When you're dope, people attract to you. But, it's, it's true. but the right people, not you, ain't for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not for everybody. But I'm, whoever's for me will come, yeah. and I'm I'm okay with that. It keeps me at peace. I wake up when I want to. I go to sleep when I want to. Straight. I answer to myself. 
I don't, don't have no to nobody. So it's like, that's that's the piece I want. At what cost? What's that worth? Mm -hmm. You can't pay me more to get that up. Yeah. What's the cost of freedom? They would say in South Africa, what's the cost of freedom? The cost of freedom is death. I'd rather be dead now than to be back free. Yeah. I can never not be free no more. Right. That's all I know, no matter how bad it may get. Mm -hmm. And it's cool. But my freedom is everything. Your freedom is everything. And once you find that in your purpose, there's no going back from that, man. And so for me, I'm in the zone. I'm in my space. I got more to contribute, yeah. right? I'm working on things, cooking up some stuff, but I'm in my zone. Right. And I'm living my truth. We've all realized that the younger generation below 55, 40, do not want to associate themselves or move to the motherland to, to do what like you've been called to do. It's everybody and they are calling. What message do you have for these younger people who have decided to rather embrace themselves with material things? The next minute they get their bill, they need to go and purchase their biggest phone or the, the newest phone that is out there. Mm -hmm. The next thing they have to purchase something mm -hmm. to make their life feel okay. Why are we not seeing younger ones more here than the, you know, the el elderly retired ones? What do we have to tell these people? Well, they actually do come. Mm -hmm. They come just as much as the elders. They just don't stay. So okay. they, the, the initial thing is they come. Okay. Right? They, they, they buy the plane ticket. They actually come. Mm -hmm. Just like the elders, but the elders are able to stay longer because they get a check every month. Right. See, they can make a mistake every month okay. and know that every first, they got another check. Yeah. So they live like kings. You see mm -hmm. the bigger house behind me. Like these houses, like they live like yeah. how they live, right? Yeah. But in terms of the younger people, man, it's about finding yourself, mm -hmm. right? And having that peace within. Mm -hmm. The consumerism and materialistic stuff is, we got to drop that, right? Yeah. It's like, that's a big insecurity. Mm -hmm. We buy white man. Usually it's white man stuff we're buying, right? Yeah. And it's like, you're buying white man stuff to impress people. Mm -hmm. Like you'd rather look rich than be rich. Yeah. You'd rather look free than be free, right? You want to be dope to impress, but be dope if you had on just a jogger suit. Mm -hmm. You wear a jogger suit, can you still be dope? Mm -hmm. Like, are you still you? Your name is bigger than anything you got on. Right. How is a brand name that you're wearing bigger than your name? So when I walk down the street, I don't want nobody to say, yo, Steve with that Louis Vuitton on, or Louis Vuitton yeah. Steve. <laughs> I'm Louis Vuitton Steve. It's Steve Kobe, motherfucker. I'm me. Like, I, I want to be known for what I contribute to the culture, right. not for what I wear. Right. You know, or how I move or mm -hmm. what I'm blowing in the club. Mm -hmm. It's about me, man. The impact. What impact are you making on your family, on yes. yourself? Are you happy when you wake up in the morning? If not, go find yourself no matter where you at, especially when you move to Ghana. Ghana will give you that time. That's the beauty about Ghana sometimes, too, is when you make the move here, mm -hmm. Even if you get an apartment, no matter what you spent on it, you pay the year up front. You mm. pay two years up front. Yeah. So in America, you don't do that. So month. we're month to month. You mm. don't get that chance to create. So even if you come here for a year, you come to Ghana, give yourself one year. You pay your rent up front for a year. Now you got all year to think. Yeah. You got no rent for a year. Mm -hmm. Create on your thing. Don't come here and open up a barbecue joint and you never cook barbecue just because you think it's a good idea. <laughs> do what you love to do. Yeah. Tap into your inner gut. Right. But that's the thing about coming from America. And the difference between, I don't say the difference because you have consumerism in the crowd too, mm -hmm. but like in America, we don't get a chance to think. It's all hustle culture. Yeah. It's always busy. You got a lot of ants. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of slaves, mm -hmm. no matter the race. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of slaves in America right yeah. now. They all work to work. Even a Ghanaian leaving here, y'all say, oh man, he, he's, he's grateful. Out, he yeah. go there, he got two jobs. He barely sleep. He, he, I'm like, yo, <laughs> what are you doing? He got an apartment. <laughs> Yeah, he's been doing of money. this and then yeah. eight hours. He really his health is messed up. Yeah. And, and the good ones, the great ones who are smart, is going out at a grind for six, seven, ten years mm -hmm. and sending that money back. Yeah. They come back, you got a big house, they got the thing, they start their business. Mm -hmm. The sad part is sometimes they send money back. Hey, the and Ganesio, they, they chop it. The uncle, they own family, chop it up sometimes, though. <laughs> but at the same time, the mindset of America is keeping a hamster on that wheel. Right. They don't have chance. They never thought about, hey, they kill your, they kill your, I have a thing here. When people come here, I have a thing that says, I want people to reconnect to their primal curiosity. Mm -hmm. Meaning, what did you want to be when you were six years old? Because when you go through school, they strip you of that, mm -hmm. right? When they go to school, every time you go, every grade you go up, and this is my belief, they strip you of your dreams okay. of what you actually really want to be and tell you, go be a doctor, mm -hmm. go be mm -hmm. this, go be a surgeon, go be a lawyer, go be a judge. Go. You're like, wait a minute. All I want to do is draw. Yeah. Well, you got some artists like dude, Abraham Muhammad, excuse mm -hmm. me if I mispronounce his name, he sold a painting for a million dollars. Then took some used airplanes and mm -hmm. turned them into the classrooms. Yeah. The thing is, he never lost focus on what he wanted to do. He probably was a kid and said, I want to be an artist. Mm -hmm. And he stuck to it. But a lot of times when we go through school, the artists, the musicians, the creators, the innovators, Everything the people with the crazy ideas, yeah. they strip you of that and say, mm -hmm. this is the answer. A, B, C, don't critical think, 
do this, go do get a job, again. make yeah. your mom and dad proud. And now you got an apartment that you don't even be in because you got to leave at eight in the morning, sit in traffic for an hour, go to work for eight hours, get back in traffic for another hour. Was, you spend 10 hours outside to have a nice car that sit in the parking lot while you're doing a job while that you hate. Yeah. Now you out, you can leave all that shit. You go out to the club and get drunk because you don't want to think about the 10 hours yeah. you had. You know, and so it's a concept or just concept. So it makes you what happened to the dream? You, yeah. And now you end up being into you're working just to maintain the shit you got. And then you end up what happens is just like people who gets bigger, they eat, they crunch on things, they eat when they're depressed, right? So it's a thing of consumerism. Mm -hmm. You spend money because you're depressed. Yeah. You saw the depression, you saw your dream, you don't care about the shit. That's why Mark Zuckerberg can wear the same fucking shirt every day. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why Elon Musk don't own a fucking house. Yeah. You know, these people, the dude that own um um ah uh, ah, uh, I forgot the Thing, but this dude wear black t-shirts every day. It's black t shirts Steve Jobs wear the same outfit yeah. every day. These are billionaires because they don't give a fuck. They're in their zone. Yeah, in their zone. Yeah. They, they out of that matrix. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing I think coming to Ghana is you can declutter what we call decluttering the mind. Right. Declutter your mind and get back to reconnecting your, to your primal curiosity. Find out what your dream is. Find out what you want to do and put work into it. Put work into that and love that unconditionally love that and don't know how you're going to make money from doing it. You got one year and your rent paid it up for a year. Figure it out during that year. You never had that freedom before in America. You know that. I know that. I'm from the shot. When you come here, it's a different type of time you got to be able to figure out your purpose. Right. Right. Definitely. It's not for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. But you still should connect some type of way. Right. Have a connection. Have a relationship. Maybe you want to have products that you get from Ghana and you sell them in America. Mm -hmm. Why are mm -hmm. you in America? Mm -hmm. Have some connect to the motherland, even if it's not Ghana. Um, this move ain't for everybody. But also, when you do come, don't be in so much of a rush of, you can't plan for Ghana. I don't care how many of them YouTube people you watch over there that's them diasporans, they be lying and they never took the video down. Some of them diasporans that moved here, they never took, they went back, live in Colorado, live in LA, never took the video down, but yeah. they tell, they teaching people how to move to Ghana. But they back in America working <laughs> at yeah, Starbucks yeah. and Walmarts, but they never took the video down. Ooh. And so the thing is, turn all the videos that teach you how to move to Ghana off and just find yourself. You know you, find yourself, find yourself, find your purpose, find your vision, and just sit still. It's beauty in sitting still. We always in a rush. Oh, I'm a plan for God. You can't plan for this. I'm telling you, I've been seven years. Whatever plan you got over there is <laughs> yeah. gonna readjust when yeah. you land. And then you don't know where you wanna live. Try out different regions. Yeah. Each region is different. Yeah. And it may fit you. You may come from a small town, you wanna live in a crop. You may come from a big city and wanna live in a in the countryside. So find yourself, learn yourself, move to Ghana, but trust in yourself, believe in yourself, build your base and stop after this video and just think for a minute. Don't go to another video. Just stop after the video and think about where you at in your life. And don't lie to yourself. You gotta look in that mirror every day. Tell your truth. What do you wanna do in life? If you had to start over and it wasn't about money, what would you do every day to wake up? What would you do every day waking up? What would keep you up at night? What would keep your, your energy going? What would you be passionate about? And that's your truth. And that's right there is how can you start today Finding your truth. That's my message to the people. Peace out. That's, That's a lot. Always. <laughs>